Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Claire Boyd Grande, and if you do know me, then welcome back. This video, I'll be talking about some reasons that you may not be reaching your dreams or full potential or feel like you're making any progress. Now, as a person, I'm 22. I'm a female. I'm black. That's just my basic characteristics. I don't have... <laughs> I just want to let y'all know that. Now, I've been stuck many times, or I've felt stuck because things are progressing. It's like... Listen... You may be stuck because of your own mind. That's one reason. Being stuck in your own mind, I had to deal with mental illnesses in the past, like anxiety, that's a big thing. Depression, of course, that's a huge thing. Bipolar disorder, obsessive compulsive disorder, like things that, of course, have to deal with the mind. But even without those things, it's easy to get stuck in your mind, stuck in the past and stuck on thoughts that keep you held back instead of propelling you forward and allow you to stop procrastination focus on doing the actual tasks, things like that. So if getting stuck in your own mind may be a reason that you are being held back or feel like you're not reaching your full potential, one thing I recommend is to, honestly, it may be hard, but you may have to go through a bit of a healing phase. Healing, it's different for everybody, but my healing journey honestly was very hard. I had to come to some realizations, had to cut off some people, had to make moves. So basically healing it's not always easy but it definitely is worth it once you get to the other side because i'm on the other side now i'm progressing i'm able to make money i'm starting to use my mind do stop doing nothing and push my life forward instead of being stuck where i was now mental illness can be serious therapy is definitely an option i'm still i'm gonna i'm going to start taking therapy very soon i try to find the right online provider because i'm not interested in going in person now number two another reason that you may not be progressing or feeling stagnant or stuck you may be too focused on other people now that's similar to stuck in your mind but not exactly this can be outward like you were like of course you can attend things hang with your friends hang with your family but all the time even if you live with them it's options to be alone like you have to sometimes be alone and separate yourself and focus on yourself a little bit more than you focus on other people to get where you need to be. Some things like this include maybe you need to meditate. Hanging out with people is fine, but that won't give you time to sit and meditate. Like you can, but you know what I mean. If you're busy doing stuff, talking, diving, but not even meditate. Like even just simply do your work, put together a book you've been writing, maybe start that business, get your inventory, do the packaging, get to know customers, post on social media, you know, so forth. It may be hard to do that while doing that around other people or being not even at your own place at other people's places, you know what I mean? Three, another reason that you may be holding yourself back is you lack discipline. Lacking discipline is something that <sighs> is serious. It's like more than procrastination because of course if you procrastinate you may lack discipline like you can't make yourself get up and do what you know you need to do to get what you need to get but lacking discipline is more than that of course it pertains to maybe running the business doing school work like in college if you have free time online learning and not free time online learning and you have to make yourself get up do the work you know what i mean Say you run the business from home, you have to do the work yourself. You had such your own schedule. Nobody's here to tell you to do anything. Lacking discipline as an adult, especially, is something that could definitely let you not see any progress towards your actual dreams in the future because you have to get up and do it. Like, I've been working on stuff for a while. I've been getting my life together. Of course, I've been seeing that for a while, but my life feels together inwardly. And now, outwardly, it's starting to manifest. Like, my money is going down, my income is going up, more great opportunities are coming towards me because I'm putting myself out there, able to figure things out using my own wisdom and discernment, basically, to get me to where I need to be. And it's slowly rising. I'm going to be in my own place soon. Save money, save money, save money. You know, the income, income in, pay off the debts, uh, buy a new car, so forth. You never know what the future looks like, but this is all in a span of only about six to seven months. So. Imagine what it looked like at the end of the year, you know what I'm saying? In a year is nothing. Like, next year I'll be 23. Like, where will my life look like? Because I'm putting the steps forward in using discipline, knowledge, discernment, wisdom, everything. Guidance from God is my thing, but of course, you know, everybody's very different. So anything that you can use to motivate you, again, I always go back to, if you don't believe in anything, just believe in yourself. And thinking about yourself, 
and knowing how long you may have to live this life is something that I use to motivate me to just get things done, work hard, so I can live the life I want to live, relax, make money, travel. That's my plans. But I want to do that because, again, I'm 22, but you never know how much time you have. Like, I'm not going to sit here and work a 9 to 5 if I don't want to for years and years just because I think that's what I have to do. Or that's, again, my goals. Everybody has such different goals. A 9 to 5 may be a thing. And again, you can do that, but there's more options out there for everybody. Because again, you may not be at the right 9 to 5. Maybe you, you work at McDonald's and you want to work in corporate. you got to put in the work. Gotta level up and get on that corporate level again this all takes discipline so you can do research and gain the knowledge that you need to get where you need to be and what you need to be is in connection with your higher self which is basically what this is doing all these things and not being where you want to be or you think you're not reaching your highest potential is you not reaching your highest self because you're not putting in not not putting in the work but it just may be many factors that are taking you off your course but one of those three reasons may be a reason that you're not reaching your highest potential. Now, I do have an ebook that you're able to check out. The link is in the description, and right now it is on sale, so check it out. And I also have some free resources in the description as well that are motivational and will help you really gain that confidence and give you the steps that you need to become the person that you want to be. Because I really advocate for that. I've been on this journey for about two years, a year and a half, and like the journey itself has been rough, beautiful, and at the same time, I'm making it. So I just wanted to share this information with everybody. So thank you all for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.